Hey guys, so today we're learning how to graph linear inequalities. But before we start graphing, we need to figure out how to tell if a point is going to work as a solution. So here we're given this equation, and we're also given these two xy points. So we are going to plug the x in for the x and then the y in for the y. So we're plugging in two things. So it's going to be 1 is greater than, because that was my y over here, negative 2 times 4 plus 1. Okay, so next we have to actually do that, do that the math. So negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8 plus 1. So negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So we are looking at, is 1 greater than negative 7? Well, yes, that's true. So because that's a true statement, yes, the point 4, 1 is a solution. Okay, you guys try the second one. Pause this video and try the second one. So you should have paused the video and tried to see if this one was a solution. This point, when you plug in negative 3, 7 into the function, you get 7 is greater than 7. 7 is greater than 7, that's false. It would need the little line underneath to uh, mean equal to in order for it to be true. So because this is false, no, negative 3, 7 is not a solution. Okay, so that's how you check to see if it's a solution or not. Then we're going to go down here where you're actually going to start graphing. So in order to graph an inequality, we need to know if it's going to be a dashed line or a solid line. If there is just the inequality symbol with no little line, it's dashed. If it has the little line, that means it's going to be a solid line. So what that means is like when you're graphing it, a dashed line is going to look something like that. And solid lines are like what we've been working on. So, down here, all we're doing is seeing if it's going to be dashed or solid. So remember, to see if it's dashed or solid, you're looking at the inequality symbol. So this inequality symbol does not have a line, so this is dashed. Okay, this inequality symbol has a line, so solid. Go ahead and pause this video and go ahead and try these two down here real quick. Okay, so you should have figured out that this one is solid because it has the line and this one is dashed because it has no line on it. <clears throat> okay, next we're going to actually start to graph. So remember, when you're graphing, whether it's a regular y equals equation or an inequality, it has to be in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So for this problem, it already is in y equals mx plus b. We have right here this 2. Remember, that's your y-intercept. That's the b. And then this negative 2 right here, that's your slope. So my slope for this problem is negative 2, which really means negative 2 over 1. So when I start graphing this, I need to go down 2 and to the right 1. And remember, you always start graphing at your y-intercept. So my y-axis... My very first point is at 2. So I need that and I need my slope, but 
Also, because this is not just y equals, it has the inequality, I need to figure out if it's going to be solid or dashed. So based on my inequality symbol right here, this is going to be a dashed line. I also read this as y is less than, y is less than that equation, so less than you shade below. So that's important to know. So we're not only going to make a dashed line, we also are going to have to shade, and we're going to shade below. So from my start point, the two, I have to go down two and to the right one. Go down two more and to the right one. Down two more and to the right one. And then you can also, at your start point, do the opposite. Go up two, left one. Up two, left one. Then using a ruler, I want to connect the dots. But remember, when you connect the dots, we are doing dashed. Don't forget, we are dashing it. So I'm going to connect my dots, and when I do so, I'm going to make them dashed. And make sure you're going completely across the whole graph. So at this point, we're almost done. We have drawn our line, we've made sure it's dashed, but with inequalities, you also have to shade. So for this one, we are shading below, which means I'm gonna shade on that side. All of those numbers are below the graph. But let's say you get stuck and you're like, but Ms. Yeager, I don't know which way to shade. You're going to pick a point. I like to use zero, zero. So zero, zero in this case is not on the line, which is good. When we're choosing a point, we do not want it to be on this line we've drawn. So zero, zero. I'm going to plug in. So I'm using my original equation, and the point I'm using is 0, 0, which means the x is 0 and the y is 0. So 0, less than, negative 2, x, but our x is 0, plus 2. 0 is less than. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. So then you ask yourself, is 0 less than 2? Yes, it is. Which means this, wherever this point is, is where I should have shaded. And did I? Yes, I did. Okay, this next point, or this next equation, sorry, equation, is not in the proper form. Remember, it has to be y equals mx plus b, which means I need this y to be by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite this equation on the right side, just so I have more space. So I need to solve for a y. So the first thing is I'm going to draw my line down, the inequality symbol. And I need to get this y by itself. So the y is staying. I have to get rid of the 3x. So I'm going to move the 3x to the right side. Now I'm left with negative 4y is less than. It's mx plus b. So the x part's going to come first, negative 3x plus 4. From there, I'm almost where I need to be. 
I need the y completely by itself though, so divide by negative four, divide by negative four, and divide by negative four. But remember, when you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, your sign flips. So the new equation we're looking at is y is not less than, it's greater than, it had to flip, three over four x minus one. So this is the equation we're graphing. We're not even worrying about the original anymore. So go ahead, pause this video, and plot your points. Don't connect your dots or anything yet, just plot the points. So your points should look like mine. I started at negative one, and I went up three and to the right four. So those are the dots that my line is gonna connect with. However, I need to ask myself, dashed or solid? So is it dashed or solid? Which one? You should say dashed because there's no line. So when you connect your dots, you should dash them. Then you have to figure out, am I gonna shade above or below. For this problem, you read this as y is greater than, so greater than gets above. So choose any point that you just graphed, so let's just choose this one, and you're graphing it upwards, above. So I'm shading all up here. So you are shading all the way above. And that is the graph of this original equation. Okay, I want you guys to try this graphing problem completely on your own. This is a completely you try problem. Go ahead and pause the video. And don't unpause it until you're completely done graphing. So when you graph this, you should have figured out that it's going to be a solid line, and that's greater than, so greater than is above. And this is what your final graph should look like. Okay, so we have one more problem. It says write the linear inequality to represent the information. So Elijah can spend at most $8.25 on snacks. Carrots cost $2 and grapes cost 75 cents. So we have these snacks he's buying and we have the money he has to spend. Can the cost of the snacks be more than the money he has? No. So it cannot be greater than, right? It has to be less than or equal to. However, the snacks we have prices on, so it's $2 for carrots, so we're going to do 2C for $2 for carrots, plus 0 0.75 grapes, less than or equal to 8.25. The last time we did this was um, like a quilting problem, like at least a month ago.